So I have an update to a rumor we reported on last week. It, it, it was kind of this one-off mention by Jeff Grubb. Uh, Jeff Grubb is a journalist for VentureBeat. He also does his Jeff Grubb's Game Mess show over on Twitch. Uh, and he has been pretty much right on anything that he quote-unquote leaks out there because he waits till he's got verification, he's got proper sourcing. Uh, he'll even mention sometimes things that he's hearing, but he's not really that confident in. And this was something he was confident in was that in a event that uh, Phil Spencer did a little bit ago, that everything on his back shelf meant something uh specifically it was focused a lot on what the death stranding character in the back meant with a potential partnership between kojima and uh and microsoft but he also kind of one off said even the switch means something but he doesn't know what uh and that sprung a whole bunch of speculation including in our video that hey are we going to get game pass or are are we getting x cloud because x cloud's now heading the pc with the game pass and like there's there's a lot of stuff happening even some apple devices now have have it in beta uh so like there, there's been a lot of stuff happening um with game pass and all that well today today uh things get a little bit crazier with potentially a little more confirmation Although nothing is technically announced at this point, although maybe at this point tomorrow that changes, although I don't think we're going to hear anything about it yet because an announcement like Game Pass and xCloud coming to Switch would be a massive deal that I'm sure Microsoft would want to work directly with Nintendo to potentially announce and Microsoft and Nintendo are both presenting at E3, so it would feel like a really cool gamer moment to announce it at e3 so i don't think we're gonna hear about it anytime soon uh, if that is what this partnership is we don't know i mean it, it could be anything you know we talked about how hey maybe they're bringing banjo kazooie back and they're bringing it to switch uh, maybe they're you know because there's been a rumor an age-old rumor about rare replay coming to switch uh who knows it, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be game pass or x club but what has people all in a tizzy today is there's a current event going on for Microsoft, and the Switch is part of the event. Let's get into this, uh, but first I gotta tell you, hey, look, we're giving away hundred dollars cash money. We all could use an extra hundred bucks. Heck, I could use an extra hundred bucks. But you know what? I'm giving that hundred bucks to one of you guys. So if you would like to win, head down to the pink comment or uh, the description to enter. Let's move on. Uh, it is our giveaway from the month of April. Uh, so. What's happening is Microsoft has their Game Stack Live event going on today and tomorrow. Uh, this event basically is a developer event, uh, so it's open only to game developers. Um, and it, it, it's really talking about a bunch of different technologies going on uh, behind the scenes uh, and all that jazz. And what happened during this event is... In the background of the event, as Tom Warren tweeted out, um, oh, look, we have more items in the background of a Microsoft event, and you see an Xbox Series S, an Xbox you know, Series S slash X controller, along with a Game Stack hat, and an Xbox Series X, of course. You're seeing their, their current systems. But wait, what's that on the third shelf? Why is there a Series S, a Series X, and then a Nintendo Switch? What? A Nintendo Switch is in the background next to Microsoft's things during a game developer-only event ran by Microsoft? Ho, ho, ho. Ho, 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 ho. Yeah, like, the GameStack event is crazy because it, it goes into deep technical dives and demonstrations of new tools and middleware. Um, you know, the, the, you're going to get new exciting things from game, for Game Pass subscribers and all that jazz. Uh, Microsoft doesn't do this stuff by accident. What's been clear about Phil Spencer's background, because if you guys don't remember, the Series S was actually in the background of a video before it was unveiled, and literally nobody saw it. Maybe maybe because of the way it was positioned, people thought it was an Xbox One S, which is also white. So it was kind of a, a clever thing where he hid it in there, but you know, at, at first glance, you, you didn't think anything of it. Uh, what's interesting here is Microsoft is intentionally putting Switch in the background of their videos. Uh, and we don't know what this means. But when, when you hear about it at a game developer-only event, uh, that sort of indicates that this is something that isn't just them putting Rare Replay on Switch or something, right? Like, yes, they might do that. But 
also, why would it be in the background of a game developer event if that's what they're talking about? Wouldn't it be in the background because, hey, your games on Game Pass can also be on Switch through xCloud? We're talking massively about xCloud and Game Pass services at this event. So it's an event that focuses on a lot of these technologies, and these technologies could potentially be coming to Switch. Here's a Switch in the background. Have a good day. We're not actually going to talk about why the Switch is in the background until we're ready to make the announcement, or until Nintendo and them are ready to make the announcement. Um, yeah, this is just further... Like, like When you saw the Switch in the background of Phil Spencer's video, Jeff Grubb said it means something. That something literally could have been anything. We speculated it meant Game Pass. We speculated it meant xCloud, specifically on Switch. Uh, but we also mentioned, or at least I mentioned in that video, that that might not be what it is. There, there's a lot of different things it could be. But in this case, in this situation, uh, in the background of a game developer event that is focused heavily on xCloud and Game Pass... Yeah, that's kind of uh, narrows down the possibilities. Uh, so, again, we don't have any confirmation. We're not going to get confirmation. Again, I, I think the earliest we see is an announcement at E3 where we know Microsoft and Nintendo are both attending, and it would be a really, really cool announcement uh, to either cap off Nintendo's conference or cap off uh, Microsoft's conference. Uh, I, or, or maybe it's just something they jointly announce together on stage. Maybe they bring uh, Shigeru Miyamoto out on stage. Uh, although, you know, it, it probably should be Doug Bowser and Phil Spencer, but um, I don't know if, if they're going to go that route. They might just go with Shigeru Miyamoto. Um, we'll see, but it, it feels, and again, on stage, it, it's going to be a pre-recorded thing. But um, I, I do think it, it's something that should uh, happen. I, I don't really see a reason for Game Pass to not come to Switch. Um, pretty much none of the games on Game Pass are on Switch. Some of the ones that are, like Doom Eternal, uh, and obviously all the Bethesda games, now that Microsoft owns Bethesda, I mean, you could still buy them locally for your Switch, which some people are going to prefer to play it anyways. But, hey, if you have your Switch docked at home, specifically if you have your Switch docked at home and you're using the Ethernet dongle, like, why the hell not play Game Pass? Like, xCloud works xCloud works great. Imagine that you could play MLB The Show 21 on your Switch through xCloud through Game Pass. Imagine that you could do that. Yeah, you'd only get 1080p. Yeah, you'd only get 60 FPS. Who cares? Who cares? You're getting the full might of Microsoft's library on Switch. Yeah, it's game streaming. Yeah, you can't take it with you on the go. Uh, it's a compromise. But think about that. That is just insanity to me. And that seems to be at least heavily what's being hinted here without actually using the words. Again, yeah, Switch was just in the background of a whole bunch of stuff with Phil Spencer, and it meant something. Jeff Grubb didn't really know what. Now it's in the background of a developer event right next, right, well, right above, technically, the Xbox Series X and Series S. Like, literally, it's there as if it's another Microsoft platform. <laughs> it might be another Microsoft platform for Game Pass. So, again, you guys, uh, let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Is this something you even want to see happen? Uh, is this something you're excited by? Um, if, if I found footage of the actual event, I'll throw it up in here. Otherwise, you got a screenshot with gameplay. Uh, I will be back on camera soon. I'm reorganizing the things in my office. The the uh, shot you, shots you've seen in the past with the TV in the background of me, that's kind of what future videos are going to be like. I'm, I, it, they're not really changing that style. I'm just reorganizing a few things and I can't get the camera in its proper spot, but that'll be fixed up a bit later today. So my next video should be just me on camera like normal. Otherwise, folks, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thanks for all your support. Thank you for entering those giveaways. Uh, we, we've had a slew of giveaways happening over on Twitter. Uh, we have one going on right now for a $20 Nintendo Switch eShop gift card. You're going to want to head over to at Ninty Prime on Twitter uh, to enter that um, and find the post there for that. Otherwise, folks, thank you guys and I'll catch you in the next video.